Okay, so welcome back to this course. Uh, now, before starting this video, I want to tell you that I am recording this lecture for the third time. What happened is uh, actually uh, for the first time I forgot to press the record button, and now after that I started recording this lecture, and then my mic got disconnected, and so I have to now record this video for the third time. Okay. So definitely from the previous video I have do some changings in my backend because we have also added the cloud binary in our application. So if I go to the backend and go to app.js, uh, remember that we have added here the uh, cloud binary config in our app.js. So I have just moved that code in the server.js because we need uh, this process.env, we need the config variables. So after setting this, I have put that here, simple as that. Okay. And also required the cloud binary here. So this is the first changing. And second is that I have installed a package that is called Express File Upload. So we have to install this package and just have to use this like middleware. Okay, simple as that. And that's it on the backend. And now in the front end, I'm going to create a new file in the users with the name register.js. And I'm creating this file for the third or fourth time. So register.js. Alright, so now RACFE to create my basic markup. And then let's go to login.js to copy some code. So simply copy this, control C, paste that here. I don't need here the loader and also I don't need the link. Okay, and I'll pull out the register. And then in the login, I also have to let's copy this complete code. Also this one, so control C and the space that here. So everything is same. And we also have to bring in the history. And then in the submit handler after prevent it from default, I have to create here const form data equals to new form data. Okay. And then I will simply set my data here. What data? The data of user. So const, let's set here the user. So user, oops, user and set user equals to use state. And we have to use here the object. First of all, the name. And then the e email and then the password all right and after this i also have to pull out that const name email and password from the user and then let's also set here the avatar set avatar and that is equal to the use state and the string also we have to set here the avatar preview because I want to display the image before uploading. Okay, so avatar preview in the state, I will simply pass here the path of the default image. So it is in my public images and then the default avatar.jpg. All right, let's give it here path slash images slash default underscore avatar.jpg. Okay, and then after that, I simply go here and set the form data. So form data dot. You can also use the append method, but I'm going to use here the set method. So set name and the name, and then we have to set the email, and then the password, and then the avatar. We have to pass in here the form data in the register not and login like this okay simply save it and now let's go back to our notepad to copy the html from register.html so simply copy this this from the div and i paste it right here and let's replace this with fragment and also put here the meta data equals to oh sorry not equals to title 
we have to pass in here the title let's type here register user and put here my code and let's first of all let's first of all press control a is to replace the class with the class name simply replace okay so simply close this one and then on submit I have to call my submit handler that I have already created so submit handler now also you have to type here the encryption type multi-part slash home data in the form all right make sure that you do that and then for the input I have to type here the value so I bring everything to a new line So first of all we have to pass here the name that is name itself then the value that is the name then on change I have to define my on on change function so I can write a simple on change okay and I simply copy it from here control C put it here replace the email then the password and also we have to replace this 4 because we cannot use here 4 we have to use the html4 in the react so html4 this one so copy it put it here 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 and also here and on the avatar preview I have to pass in here in the source the avatar preview in the alt I type here avatar preview and then for the file I simply type here accept attribute that which accept all the images slash all and then we also have to pass here the on change so on change and then in the uh, button I also pass here the disabled prop and disabled I, if it is loading then I want to disable this button so true and if it is not loading then I have to enable the button simple as that we know that when we press the button the register button so we will dispatch the uh, register uh, user register request so it will set loading to true so while it is loading I want to disable this button simple set alright and I'm setting up this let's go to the top and define our own change here so cons oops on change equals to this arrow function I simply check that if e dot target dot name equals to avatar then I have to handle the image else I have to handle the name email and password alright so for the avatar I, I simply create here cons reader equals to new file reader okay and then I will simply type here the that is reader reader dot read as data URL okay in that function you have to pass in the file that is e dot target dot files of zero all right so you can see that we have to pass in here the blob and also I type here that render oh sorry not render reader dot on load that will be equal to callback so when uh, when we read it uh, this file then we simply pass in here callback and check that if reader if reader dot ready state equals to 2 basically we have 3 states ready states 0 1 and 2 0 means that it is the reader is just created uh, 1 means that the it is in processing and two means that everything is done we can use that 
so when everything is done our ready state is equal to 2 then we have to set the avatar preview to the reader dot result and also we have to set the avatar also read dot result right so we'll uh, handle the image and now let's handle our user so set user and we have to spread our user here whatever in the user and then we have to set the value of the user so e dot target dot name that will be e dot target dot value all right for example whatever in the user will spread that here and then if e dot target or name for example this name or this name which is equal to email and then its value column then value and we'll add that in the user okay so let's simply save it i hope that we are done let's simply go to the app bar js and let's bring in my component so import the register from dot slash components slash user slash register and let's put in here the register for the login the register component simply save it and i hope that i don't get any error so avatar preview is not defined so i think i have misspelled it avatar We'll save it and now if I go back to my Chrome okay go to login new user and let's put in here John John at gmail.com 123456 is the password let's use the avatar and you can also see that here we have our uh, default image here all right so let's select this first image open this is the preview good this is also working so if I click on register you can see that the button is disabled because it is now loading or registering the user and now the user is registered successfully if I go to my mongo and in the users collection if I refresh it you will see here the user okay so this, in the avatar we have our image in fact if I go to my cloudinary you will see here we have our new file here that is this one all right so this means that our user is uploaded successfully we have saved the url in the database and now if i go to login you can see that i'm already logged in but if i reload the page and now consider i can go to the login because now the state is empty if i go to the uh, uh, redux and you can see that here in the let's choose it down in the state in the auth you can see that we have nothing here because you also have to load the user uh, when we reload the page if you already logged in remember we have saved the token in our http only cookie so you can see that here in the cookies and here is our token this is the value of the token and this is http only cookie so we have cookie in in our token in our cookie we can simply check that and then verify that user if, if, the, if the token is valid then we have to load the user and i will handle all that logic in my next video all right i hope that you understand what you have on this video we are simply register the user and upload the image of that user in the cloudinary also okay so i hope that you understand so i will see you in the next video in which we will load the user which is currently logged in into the state